going to show you how you can install x-ray onto your server or name it like vls and don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so let's get now some of the things you need you need a cloudflare account a domain name and uh, also you need uh, a server as well you need the script so i will leave each and everything in the description of this video and uh, you feel free to check out there check it out and see if you cheat up everything so if you have gotten each and everything which i've mentioned here well let's do that first me i got my server which is over here okay i'm going to copy that ip address and i paste it and uh, i log into that server okay let me enter my password The other thing you need is a domain name. In my previous video, I happened to show you how you can get a domain name and do each and everything. But if you're new to this channel, all you need to do is to go to any domain name provider like Freenom, GoDaddy or any other domain name provider you can get onto. And as well, you need a server. Well, you also need a Cloudflare account for just to create a DNS record. All you need to do is to get that domain name which you got from your domain name provider. And then you say, I decide to Cloudflare. Well, I made a lot of videos about doing this. Feel free to check them out. And then you come over to DNS and then you select add the record. Okay. Now I'm going to add a record, maybe like X-ray. And then I put the IP address of the server. I want it and proxy file. And then, well, we are good to go. So now my domain name here is x-ray.red tk just to give you a clear view it is x-ray dot red tk okay now don't mind about this it's not much complicated it's the same thing just that i would just wanted to get a sub domain name okay now i'll copy this that is my domain name and the other thing we need to copy the script and then we paste it into our server but before you do that you make sure that you're using an updated server so that your packages are updated so let's first do that very fast Okay, as well you can see that our server is being updated and then after that what we need to do is to paste our our our, our script. Okay, now our next step we need to do is to select option number zero which goes for install VLS and Ingenix. Okay. Then you press enter. Now what you need to do there is to paste your domain name. Okay. Now if you remember very well at the previous steps which we did, our domain name is that. Now I will just paste it. Okay. Then I press enter. Is almost done hope you can see that uh, one we have uh, where you can paste this and hope you guys know how to use these things because you know where to paste this and where to paste this okay now let me show you an example here what you need to do is to open up uh, an upstanet and then go to where you see add vlsconfig config 
and you follow the procedures what you see what they request you is what you fit in okay and then we go back let me show you you see this is uh, the domain name and this is the port and this is um, the ID okay now for optimization you can select option 3 and you select in option number 1 and then you go for you can select which uh, optimization or any uh, traffic congestion you want well you can go for bbr bbr plus a load server and so on Ma, but i'm going to go for bbr plus or you can go for load server or you can go for any you know which is better for you okay Selecting now. Now, if you look at this step, don't and don't reboot your server before applying uh, BBR Plus. So, what you need to do here is select N. You enter N. You enter N. After that, maybe you enter Y. After that. And then you go back to option number one and this way around you have to select option 19 because that is uh, the easiest way you see so that you apply bbr you enter with the y and then here you're free to reboot your device so that uh, bbr is uh, uh, applied onto your system but you can activate swap before You enter yes and then you, you're free to reboot your server now so with doing that you'll you'll be getting a lot of uh, with good performance speed onto your server okay Hope you can see that our server is back and each and everything is working so i hope you guys have got what i've tried to explain in this video we meet another video god bless you